listening to Family Prayer Time with God's servant, Nana Sayopoku Sakodi, your turning point on Porters 98.7 FM. God bless you and stay with us. Give God thanks for another opportunity in His presence. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. We worship the King of Kings. We bless His holy name. Mighty God, everlasting Father. This is the day the Lord has made. We have every right to rejoice and be glad. Once again, I want you to just, wherever you are, I want you to just lift up your voice and just praise the name of the Lord. Just glorify the name of the King of Kings. Thank Him. I will enter His gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter His court with praise. I will sing, This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice, for He has made me glad. Thank you, Jesus. Today we are dealing with a very important subject. Rokazide beyatuya, the welfare continues. Hallelujah. Marko Shidebeya. Thank him, thank him. Just take two minutes, one minute, and just give him thanks. Marko Shidebe Atusaya. Andele Mekatuya. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We worship your holy name. We bow before your presence. I will exalt thee, my God, O King. I will bless your name forever. Every day I will bless your name. Praise be to the Lord and it's worthy to be praised. Your love is unsearchable. Bless the Lord, O my soul. All that is within me, bless his holy name. And forget not all his benefits. He has forgiven our iniquities. He has healed our diseases. He has redeemed our life from destruction. He has crowned us with loving kindness and tenderness. He has satisfied our mouth with good things. Somebody appreciate Jesus. Thank him. Raka Sadabaya. Possessing the gate of your enemies. Marko Shedebe Atosaya. Thank you, Jesus. Raka Zedebe Atosaya. Yes, 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 yes. Ampara Nyamiye. Nyamiye. Yes, Lord is good. Yes, Lord is good. Is there anybody here that the Lord has been so good to you? Mark Odabaya. A gate is a very important part of a building or a house. A gate is for security and protection. Nobody build a house without a gate. It's for security and it's for protection. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are dealing with both gate and doors. Mm, okay. It's the same. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Because in the book of Psalm 24, when you read verse number 6, it says, this is the generation that seek the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the generation of them that seek him. Mm. And that seek thy face, O Jacob. Mm. Seller. Full stop. And then the next one say that, lift up your heads, O ye gate. And be it lifted up, ye everlasting doors. So there are two combinations there. Yes, Very soon, we we'll differentiate between the gate and the doors. Yes, okay. Amen. 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 And both of them were plural. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to talk about different things in your body that are gate. Amen. But today we are lifting us a prayer. Amen. That is why Apostle Paul said, lay hands on no man suddenly. Because the head is a gate. Amen. It is the access point through which the anointing penetrates. Yes, yes. So when you anoint people, the moment Samuel lifted the horn and pulled it on David's head, the spirit of the Lord descended upon him. Amen. Yes. It is dangerous to you to, to lay hands on a witch when you are not anointed. Yes. Because we are dealing with gates. Amen. Amen. We are dealing with what? Yes. Gate. Hallelujah. Now look at Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Listen to what Jesus said. He said, Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. 
If there is an open there, there is a gate. And there is a door. Hallelujah. If there is no access and there is no gate, nothing shall be open. So in prayer, you actually have to enter a gate. Amen. And the next verse said that, he said that anyone, for everyone that asks, receive. And he that seeks shall find. And to him that knock, it shall be open. Amen. So this night, something must be open for somebody. Amen. 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 We are going to talk about how the enemy can close the gate of your destiny. Wow. Amen. Amen. When the angel went to the prison and rescued Peter from the prison, the Bible said the prison door was, was shut. Uh -huh. That is not even the problem. Because they made the gate, gate open. But the main problem is the gate that leads to the city. That is the gate to your destination. Wow. That is the gate that gives you visibility. That is the gate that gives you vision. Even yes, if, if you come out of the prison and you can't see, you can go back to the prison. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. Amen. When we visited the prison, one of the things the commander says is that many people that left here come back. Many. He says 70% of those who live here with time, they come back. And he said the reason is that they are not accepted in the city. Amen. Amen. Gate. Don't play games with it. Today something is going to happen. Amen. I say a gate is for security and protection. <laughs> in the Bible, a gate was what? A focal point of power. So that is why the Bible says you shall possess the gate of your enemies. So once the enemies take care of the gate, they are broken your defense. In every security building, you go to presidential houses. One of the places that is protected a lot is the gate. I've gone to some embassies that the way you go, you go by a revolving door. That is a matter. And the matter can only go, it cannot reverse. It means that it is not easy for you to just access the place. Amen. 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 Any house without variability inside, inside has no gate. I was going to mention an area where Olivia lived, but I've stopped. There are some places you don't see walls around the house. No. If you go to a place and you see a wall, a huge gate, a metal fence, a security fence, a security man with security cameras, it shows you what is in the house. If you go to Abroche, there's something they call gated community. So to enter the community itself, there is a gate. Amen. If the devil managed to close the gate of your destiny, Forget about what you are doing. The Bible says Jericho was strictly shut up because of the children of Israel. Jericho was strictly shut up. Today, anything shut before you, God must open it. And if it cannot be opened, it must be broken down. Your army is too small. Hallelujah. <laughs> every military strategy is planned at the gate. We will take it. Every military strategy is planned at the gate. It's at the gate. Every military strategy is planned at the gate. Every military strategy is planned at the gate. If they cannot discover the seat into the gate, judgment and punishment are delivered at the gate. Judgment and punishment. Apostle Paul went to a place and he said, he said that the governor of the city made people wait for me at the gate. That is where they lowered him in a basket and brought him down. Today you are going to pray. A gate of something must be open. Amen. That is why it is dangerous to live fornication and adulterous life. Because the sexual organs of people are gates. Immediately, Pastor Slight couldn't sit straight. He just turned on aristocratic anger. The fastest way to pick a demon. The sexual organ, whether male or female, is a gate. It's a gate. It's a gate. The eye is a gate. The ear is a gate. Somebody heard I love you and he entered his ears. It's a gate. Something has entered the person. Something has entered. And what is that? Something has entered. It's a gate. It's a gate. No, there are things you play games with. In the supernatural, don't play games with it. Hallelujah. Amen. Hmm. One of the purpose God created us is for our pleasure. The people that tell us are the 24 elders of heaven. In Revelation chapter 11 verse 4, they said that 
you created us for your pleasure either 11 for 4 11 these are the two olive tree um give me 4 11 the two candlesticks thou art wealthy oh lord to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things and for what thy pleasure it is the elders that told us because the elders are gatekeepers of heaven so they told us the reason god created us he created us for his pleasure amen, amen. hallelujah the way we pleasure things is different from the way God takes pleasure in things. The way you take pleasure in things is different. You go to some place, you sit in a yacht, and then you are wearing your swimming because you enjoy yourself, you're having pleasure. Hallelujah. But when God says, let there be light, let the star appear, that is what gives God pleasure. So God pleasure is demonstrated in his power. For this cause I have raised Pharaoh so that I would demonstrate my power to him. Somebody say gate. Yes. Today, any enemy standing in front of your gate, yes. those enemies are going to give up. Yes. Are somebody ready to pray? Yes, <laughs> Do you know in Proverbs chapter 31 verse 23, I want to show you a strange scripture. The husband of the virtuous woman, huh? the husband of, is known at the gates. Hey. Hey. The husband of the virtuous woman is known at the gate. When he's seated among the elders of the land, so, now, listen, Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah was one of the people that sat at the gates. Yes, <laughs> so, in every country, there are gatekeepers. Yes, if the gatekeepers are weak, everything enters. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. That is why some immigration uh, of some country, when you get there, even the immigration officers has guns. You see, they have guns, they are dressed like police, especially in the U.S. They are there. I mean, gun, I'm not too sure. But, uh, they have guns. I'm telling you, that's a fact. Because they are protecting the gate. Hallelujah. Today you must secure your gate. Amen. All your struggles as a result of the fact that some gate has been let loose. Yes. Hallelujah. But before we start, I want you to know that there are physical gate and there are spiritual gate. Okay. Everybody say physical gate. physical gate. And everybody say spiritual gate. Spiritual gate. In Genesis chapter 28 and verse number 12, I'm going to start my key scripture from there. What is a spiritual gate? And he dreamed. Jacob is running away from his brother Esau, who wanted to kill him. He came to Bethel, where his grandfather has raised an altar and sacrificed over there. He got there, the night was, was appearing. It means that darkness was coming. The boy cannot continue, so he fell out. He has to find some place and sleep and wait for the day. Because to travel in the desert at night, some, some evil beast can devour you up. And the Bible said, when they lie down, eh, he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth. Don't forget, he dreamed. He was taken up whilst he was asleep and caught up into the supernatural on where he was showing. God showed him activities happening in the spirit at the place where he was staying, at the place where he was lying down. He thought it was a boozer he sleeping, but he had a dream. And in a dream, his eyes was open into the supernatural. And the Bible said, a ladder, a ladder, a chedier was set up on the earth and the top of it reached to the heaven. How long is that ladder? The ladder is the from a echo heaven. So he has eyes was open to heaven. And behold, angels were of God were ascending and descending. Normally in the ladder, either one person is the same ascending or descending, but this one, the same ladder, some were ascending and some were descending. So it is the size is probably wider than the normal ladder we know. It means that whilst you are walking around on earth, there are some places that are portals. There are places that gives access. All lands are not the same. Some people imagine they go and say, remove your standard. Where you are standing is a holy ground. It means that that ground is different from other ground. This is one of the places that Jacob was standing. The Bible says angels, the ladder was spanned. The angels were ascending and deciding what happened there. And immediately the Bible says, behold, the Lord stood above it. God was standing above the land and said, I am the Lord God of thy father and the God of Isaac. I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father and the God of Isaac. The land, the land whereof thou liest, to thee I will give thee unto thy seed. Watch this. Watch this. And thy seed shall, and thy seed shall be like the dust of the earth. And thou shalt spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north. Everywhere you go, you find the Jewish people. And to the south. The spiritual Jews are Christian. They are everywhere. And in thee, and in thee, and in thy seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Are you following me? Watch this. And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all the place where thou goest. 
and I'll bring thee again to this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken unto thee. So when God delay, don't give up. Amen. I'm not going to leave you until I've said all the things. It means that they may not all happen in one day, but wait, I will do it. Amen. 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 And Jacob awoke out of the sleep. Now the sleep has ended. And he said, surely, look at the interpretation of the prophetic man. Surely the Lord is the Lord is in this place. The dream was so rare, he thought that the thing was happening physically. Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew not. What it is. Watch this. And he was afraid. It means that the ripples of the dream still are. The thing is like a rare thing. And he said, how dreadful is this place where I'm lying? This is none other but the house of God. It is the gate of heaven. Hey! The gate of heaven. I believe Potter City is the gate of heaven. It is a place that when you pray access, you gain access. You gain access. Somebody say today, every entity that has shut my gate in the spirit, open in the name of Jesus. Jesus was opening somebody and say, if at all, it means be open. Ha, what about this one? I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail. So any gate of hell standing around your finances, any gate of hell standing around your breakthrough, today they cannot prevail. Gate of hell of sickness will not prevail. Gate of hell of marital breakthrough will not prevail. Gate of hell of divorce will not prevail. Gate of hell of financial setback will not prevail. Shame and reproach will not prevail. Somebody say, Gate of hell. I declare according to God's word, you will not prevail over me. You will not prevail over me. You will not prevail over me. Lift up your voice and fire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Rakazadabaya. The gate of hell will not prevail. We are dealing with gates. Possessing the gate of your enemies. Mozadibayata. Randalabaya. Kadabaya. Rakazadabaya. Rabandalabaya. Makazadabaya. Share the message and connect another person online. Share it right now. Rokazodebea. Randelebekatoya. Makazadabaya. Rabandelebekabab. Moshadabaya. Randelebekabab. Moshadabaya. Maya Rapandelebe Kabam Rekazo de Bea Tosaya Makedebea Rekazo de Bea Rapandelebe Kabam Jomakataya Rakazo de Bea Rabadea Abandelebe Kata Rakazo de Bea Paya Rakazadabaya Randalabaya The Gate of Hell The Gate of Hell will not prevail Moshadabaya Razendelebe Kataya, Rakazodebea, Randala Bakaba, Jobranda Labakaba, Bara Bandala Bakaba, Jobranda Labakaba, Bara Bam, Rakadabaya, Lakadabaya, Randelebe Kaba, Lakazodebea Tosaya. This is the gate of heaven. This is the house of the Lord. Today, every gate, every gate, your financial gate, your marital gate, your traveling gate, your academic gate, every gate that the gate of the enemies are shut, we command it to be open. Let the gate be open. Let the gate be open. Moshadia, Randelebe Kataya, Razadabaya, Randalabakaba, Gate of Hell, you will not prevail. You will not prevail. You will not prevail. Poverty is a gate of hell. Delay can be a gate of hell. Divorce can be a gate of hell. Sickness can be a gate of hell. Lift up your voice in intercession and declare that they will not prevail over you. Mazodebea, Rabandelebe Kaba, Lakazadabaya, Rakazadabaya, Rabadabaya, Kosadabaya, Andalabaya, Rakazadabaya, Mayadabaya, Mandelebea. Paya, raza za za za, rakadoya, rabandele bekabam, jobranda la baya, rakaza la baya, mada baya. Please share the message right now. Mako shada baya, rabandele bekabam, jomasta kataya, rakadoya. Wake somebody up. Call somebody. Share it to a friend. Share it to your story. Share it to your page. In the name of Jesus, the Lord bless anybody. That through you, another person can encounter this altar. 
this altar of fire and incense masodabaya makodabaya rakazadabaya rabandele bekaba rekazodebeya rakandele beya paya rakazadabaya mandele bekaba rekazodabaya rapadaya endala bakatuya paya rezazuya makataya rabandele bekaba jobrandele beya Aye katuya aneme atoya rekazo debe atosaya pe ya kadabaya rapandele de kaba joma kotaya rakazada baya randa la kaba rekazada baya randa la baya gate of hell of poverty gate of hell of setback gate of hell of limitation hayada baya rapandele de kaba jobranda la kaba rakazada baya randa la kaba randa la kaba jobakataya randa la kaba para banda la kaba every visible and invisible gates in the name of jesus christ that the enemy has shut i command it to be open command it to be open efata be open efata be open command the gate of your breakthrough command the gate of your marriage you shall decree a thing and it shall be established the gate of my marriage the gate of expansion in ministry the gate of my breakthrough open right now 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 get to my wedding open right now get to my documentation open right now i say be open i say be open you will not prevail over me every gate of hell i hold the blood against you the blood of jesus i overcome him by the blood by the word of my testimony gate 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 ancient doors be open right now rakazadabaya mandelebeya randelebeya get to my womb get to my sons get to my childbirth my academic excellence get get to my new level get to my breakthrough get to my visa get to my green card get to my foreign passport i say be open be open as soon as they hear me they will obey me the strangers have submit themselves he has given me a mouth and a wisdom all the adversaries shall not be able to gain shame or resist i say be open i say be open command it to be open ask and you shall receive seek and you will find knock and it shall be open we knock every gate we command you to be open rakadabaya zumakataya rapandelebeya rakazadabaya makadabaya mandelebeya mosadabaya makodabaya randelebekaba rakozadabaya makodabaya makadabaya zubrandalaba lift up your voice open your mouth and pray mosadabaya makadabaya mandelebekaba zubrandalaba rakazodebeya mokazodebeya rapandelebeya somebody say be open i command it to open radabaya every visible gate every invisible gate standing as a barrier i say be open randala bakaba randala bakaba randala bakaba para bandala bakaba randala bakaba randala bakaba para bandala bakaba moshada baya randala bakaba Zobada baya, rapandele bekaba, zobrandele bekata, rakasada baya, landele baya, poya da baya, kaye, zunama atuye akaya, rakazudi bi yatosa, ina makete, razuni mi yatosa, bandule mekaba, rekazuda baya, anima ya please share the message right now, share, share. Somebody who listen to me from Portus 98.7 FM, just take your phone and go online go to facebook and youtube and say it go to facebook right now facebook and say it. go to facebook web prayer center on anas epoku and share the message to your brothers in abroad somebody has suffered for too long every gate that is resisting their breakthrough that gate must be open today
Rabaya, Randele Bekaba, Lokazadabaya, Anamaya Tokaya, Rakazodebea, Mandele Bekaba, Rakadabaya, Lekazodebea, Mandala Bakaba, Zubrandele Bekaba, Baraba, Randala Bakaba, Zubrandala Baya, Rakazadabaya, Rakadoya, Mandele Bekaba, Zubrandala Bakaba, Mokadabaya, Rakazadabaya, Hey, in the name of Jesus, I command every door to be open. Amen. Let the gate to your marriage be open. Amen. Let the gate to your financial blessing to be open. Amen. There are visible and invisible doors. There are spiritual and physical gates. Today, some people, listen, that is why when you travel to a country and you are transiting, when you get to the place, they don't allow you to go inside. It means that when you are in the airport, you are still not entered the gate of the city. Hallelujah. Amen. Take this prayer very serious. Take it very serious. Amen. Somebody say, through Jesus, through Jesus let, me let me possess the gate of my enemies. Of my enemies. Genesis chapter 32 verse 7. Possessing the gate of your enemies. And he was afraid. Genesis chapter 22 and verse number 17. 22 and verse number 17. That in blessing I will bless you. Amen. This is God talking to Abraham. And in multiply I will multiply thy name. I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven. And as the sun which is upon the seashore. And thy seed and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Amen. Give me the New Living Translation. Let me show you something. Somebody say, I will possess the gate of my enemies. What do they mean by that? Your descendants will conquer the cities of their enemies. Yes. So to conquer the city is similarity to conquer the gate of your enemies. So once you take the gate, you have taken the city. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say, establish the gate establish of, the praise of praise in my life. In my life. Isaiah chapter 16 verse 16. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 16, give me verse 18, rather. Give me verse 18. I'll show it to you yesterday. The violence shall no more be heard in thy land. Wasting nor destroying within thy bodies. But thou shalt call thy war salvation. And thy gate word praise. It means a testimony is coming. Amen. People were entering the access point. Now listen, a gate is for departure and arrival. Amen. Okay. A gate yes, is for departure and arrival. Yes, sir. So when you get to the airport, there are two kinds of people there. In fact, three. Those who are going nowhere, working there. Okay. Huh? And there are those who are arriving. Yes, and there are those who are departing. Yes, These three kinds of people are in life. Yes, in the supernatural realm, there are people going nowhere. It means that they shut the door. They see the door, but they cannot enter. There are people who have arrived and they are entering. And there are people who are inside, but they are departing. So a gate is for arrival or departing. Today, whatever the enemy has stopped you, if you have to arrive, you must arrive. If you must depart, you must depart. And you enter the gate with praise. You will possess the gate of your enemies. Lift your and say, Father, any resistance, any barrier, any obstacle, any opposition to my arrival and to my departure, as I lift my voice in prayer, catch fire, open your mouth and pray. Possessing the gate of your enemies. Mazadabaya. Departure and arrival. Rakazodebea. Rapandelebe Kataya. Rakazodebea. Please share the message right now. Say, say, say. Say it right now. Take your phone and say it. Say it to bless somebody. Say it to bless somebody. Say it to get somebody to pray. There is a brother that gate must be open. There is a sister that doors must be open. Doors are closed. Lift up your head, oh gate. Ayakadabaya. Randalabaya. Masadabaya. Randalabakaba. Randalabakaba. Rakazodebea. Randalabakaba. Rabandalabakaba. Jobrandalabakaba. Rakazadabaya. Rabandalebekaba. Jodabaya. Rabandalebekaba. Rakazadabaya. Makadabaya. Rabandalebekaba. Lekazodebea. Mokadea. Rabandalebekaba. Jomakataya. Rekazadaya. Pandelebe kaba, rokazu debe ya, makada baya, mada baya. God bless you for sharing. God bless you for connecting another person. Let this broadcast bless somebody. 
let me pray your time this is the family prayer altar the family prayer time the family before you go to bed before you go to sleep whatever be the time in your country there is nothing like praying to man we are dealing with gates we are dealing with gates Marco Zadabaya Randala Bakaba Raka Zodebea Mokaduya Maye Maye Zundala Bakatuya Reka Zodebea Tosaya Makaya Baya Rapaya Baya Apaya Randala Bakataya Reka Zodebea Andole Bekataya Rakadabaya Something must be open for you Something must be open for you Establish the gate of praise Establish me at the gate Establish the gate of praise In my life According to Isaiah chapter 60 verse 18 And your gate shall be called praise Violence shall no more be heard in thy land Wasting or destruction within thy borders But thou shalt call Thy word salvation Thy word deliverance Thy word healing And thy gate praise Makoda Baya Randelebea from today they shall be rejoicing at your gate there shall be testimonies at your gate you are departing you are arriving you are departing you will not be stagnant you will not be frustrated i break stagnation in your life i break stagnation connect somebody in life somebody whose life has been stagnant connect them to this prayer altar tell the person to join I sense there are people that enemy has shut the door. That is why. But today, the door to your documentation, the door to your documentation, sudden breakthrough, sudden approvals, sudden breakthroughs, sudden approvals, because the gate is open. When Peter gets to the iron gate, it's open by its own accord. I command the gate to be open. Rakazudebea and Delebea. Get to your wedding, get to your ministry get to your marriage get to your financial blessing every gate that is closed be open be open be open be open be open marital gates be open by traveling gates be open childbirth gates be open ministry gates be open i command every door be open right now any satanic power any wicked altar that has shut the door of your destiny. Today we speak to them. As soon as they hear you, they will obey you. You shall decree a thing. It shall be established. Get to abundance. Be open. Get to my marriage. Be open. Get to my children's academic excellence. Be open. Get to your wedding. You have gone around this mountain too long. We deal with the spirit of Kadesh Bania. Make me open. Rakazadabaya. Mayadabaya. Rakadabaya. Makadabaya. Randalabaya. Be open right now. Makadabaya. There is something that has delayed. That contract has delayed. That wedding has delayed. That marriage has delayed. It is a door that they are trying to shut. Command it to open. Let it be open. They don't want to pay you the money. Let the door be open. And they get the enemy as shut. Makoda Baya. Randala Makeba. Rakazada Baya. Randala Baya. Kayada Baya. Kazoda Baya. Randala Baya. Holy Ghost Fire. Randala Baya. Holy Ghost Fire. Rakada Baya. There is a lady watching me. Right now. You are called Roots. Every gate. Every gate. That has been open. To lose all kinds of sickness. We command the enemy's gate to be closed. We close the gate of the enemy. We shut the door of the enemy. We can declare that God's door be open. Rakazadabaya. Nayadabaya. Rokazudebeya. Mandelebekaba. Rakazadabaya. Facebook, please share. Please share the message right now. Connect somebody online. Rakazadabaya. Rapadabaya. YouTube, please share the link. Share the message. Share it to your Facebook page. Share it to your WhatsApp. Share the share it right now. Rakazadabaya. Makodabaya. Hayadabaya. Randalabakeba. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. I declare get to your marriage, be open. Get to your financial blessing, be open. 
Gate to your marital blade to be open. Every gate the enemy has shut, we command it to be open. Every gate the enemy has open, we command you to be shut now. In the name of Jesus. Say, I release battering rams. There is something we call battering rams. It was a prophetic word from the prophet Ezekiel. He said, battering rams can go and fight against the gate of hell. Ezekiel 21, 22. Do you know that scripture? Are you familiar with Ezekiel 21, 22? Maku Shadabaya. Ezekiel 21, verse number 22. Ezekiel chapter 21, verse number 22. Rakazada Bakataya. Mokadibaya. At his right hand was, the div was a divination for Jerusalem. To appoint captains. At his right hand. At his right hand was divination for Jerusalem. To appoint captains. To open the mouth in the slaughter. To lift up the voice with shouting. To appoint battering rams against the gates. To cast an amount to build up the fort. Battering ram. When they release it, don't forget the word divination over there. Sorceress. There is something they engage. It's called battering ram. In the spirit, you don't know what you are fighting, but you are losing. Money does not stay in your hand. Everything you touch go. You are dealing with battering ram. Today, you deal with battering ram with the sword of the Lord. I see a judgment sword lifted. The sword of judgment. God's judgment sword. The sword of the Lord. There is something the Bible called the sword of the Lord. They saw Jesus before. Gen 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 Joshua chapter 5, the last verse, he said that. Are you for us or for adversaries? He said, as the captain of the host of heaven, I have come. And the man was holding a sword. That is Theophany, the manifestation of Jesus Christ. Christophany. Don't play games with this one. Don't only know Jesus as a lamb. He's a liar. Yes. Battering rams loose against your life. They will deal with it. Let's connect it to Psalm 24. Verse number 6, 7, and 8. Watch this one. Which one are you dealing with? Don't forget battering ram. They were released by divinators. This is the generation of them that seek him. Are you one of them? So anybody that don't love to seek the Lord. Let me tell you so. You cannot open the gate the enemy has put in it. I'm telling you. Amen. Where you live in the area, Miocho, it's a community. In the spirit, it has a gate. Ah, okay. huh? yes, sir. Jowulu, it's a community. It has a gate. Yes, sir. Dansuma is a community. It has a gate. Yes, now, Ajirigado is a community. It has a gate. The territory you live sometimes can determine the lifting of your life. If you don't have, if you don't have kingdom mysteries, and you don't have access, and you don't work by revelation, you will not understand what you are dealing with. So there are people living in a wealthy place, but they are poor. And there are people living in a poor place, but they are wealthy. They've understand the mysteries. They've downloaded certain softwares from heaven. And they can create an access. The Bible said this is the generation of them that seek him. That seek their face, oh Lord. Keep on going, girl. Watch this. Lift up your heads, oh E-gate. Ha! And be lifted up, ye everlasting door. Two things were there. Gate is the one that goes to the city. Door is the one you enter the inside to take your possession. Both of them were locked. So the one inside to your bedroom is called the door. But the one to give you access to the company is the gate. So when Peter came out of the prison, the prison door was open. But there is an iron gate that must be open. Today, something must be open for somebody. This is not the, this is why somebody's documentation is not granted. It's not a home office. It's the devil that has locked a certain gate. So you are in America, but you are locked. You are in UK, but you are locked. You shall decree a thing and it shall be established. As soon as they hear me, Jesus said they will obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. He has given me a mouth and a wisdom. And all the adversaries shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. These are the scriptures. Lift up your head, oh eagle. You think it's an easy thing? That is why I start by telling you that this is the generation of him that seek the Lord. Look at it. And he everlasting God. And he everlasting doors. And the king of glory are coming. Now look at it. You have heard the king of glory. Listen to what the devil's reply. Who is this king of glory? It means that they have become so much of a stronghold that they don't respect anybody. They are announcing that much as you have stopped everybody today, a special person is coming. And they say he's the king of glory. They are asking, who is that? Today, your dispatch will be the king of glory. Amen. She will enter a place and you will follow. Who is this king of glory? 
and they replied, they said, the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. So you see that it's going to be a fight there. The Lord did he appear as a lamb. He appears as a man of war. Because this ancient gate must come down. What is an ancient gate? A die with your mother. A die with your great grandfather. A die with your grandfather. A guy with your father. It's trying to deal with you. Manos you. I say manos you. Manos you. The Holy Ghost is dropping a scripture in my spirit right now. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. It means that it hit his brother by manos me. And he called on the God of heaven. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. Bless me indeed. And the Lord, and the Lord granted the petition that he has requested. And the Lord granted the petition. And the Lord granted him the request. What are you talking about? And he said, I mean the king of, you have heard the king of glory. It happened two times. Huh? Who is this king of glory? And they replied, the Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Are you with me? Lift up your head, O ye gate. Second time. Even lift up, even lift up, ye everlasting doors. Everlasting doors, they've been there for long. The doors has been there fighting people that their title is not everlasting. Teams, they are going nowhere. Marco Shadabaya. Mazidi Biyatosa. Krapa Katabaya. Are you getting what? Even, uh, even, huh? He said, even, even, lift up your hand. Even, huh? Uh, even, he everlasting Lord, and the king of glory shall come in. Today, the one leading you shall be the king of glory. Amen. So what is an everlasting Lord? 20 years, 30 years. Today, a pastor told me a story. He said, Papa, he said, Daddy, somebody came to my church in prayer, and he said something. He said, he has six children. Huh? All the children, eh? all the children, if they marry, all the six are not able to conceive. They go to hospital. The doctor checked them. They said, the doctor said, I don't know why. Even your sons, their sperm count is too high. Why? Now, this is the mystery. He told me, he said, this is the thing. Anytime they buy a dog, the female dog cannot conceive in the house. Hey. When they take the dog to another place, the dog will conceive. Hey. And the woman, he said, the woman, the pastor was telling me, he said, Papa, what do I do? He said, ask him. Immediately, the Holy Ghost said, ask him. I said, a covenant has been established somewhere. Something has been done in the past. That we need revelation to find out and decode the thing and and and, and, and he let that satanic covenant that is there. It means that a certain almost all of them are put in prison and locked up. I break every code that the enemy has put upon your life. Explain it. Explain something. Listen to me. The pastor was telling me. Six of them, six, four sisters and two brothers. All the two of them, nothing is wrong with that. Because some things, eh, you must have a biological reason that this thing is happening. It's not happening. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I keep telling people now, listen, sometimes eh, the enemy doesn't fight anything that doesn't have a future. He doesn't waste his ammunition on it. Somebody has gone to stay in abroad for 30 years, no documentation. Today you break through. Amen. You must be determined to break through. Amen. I don't care whether your mother is ahead of the witchcraft. When judgment descended, he must take his portion. He has few time to repent. Hallelujah. Amen. Ghanaians are not learning to pray. The Nigerians don't pray with warfare prayers. They don't pray with war prayers. They, they call it die. Hallelujah. I don't even know how spirits die, but they believe that the spirit must die. I mean, fall down and what? And die. It means I never rise up again. It, anything that died cannot rise up again. Everlasting gates. Everlasting doors. Now, if you don't take care, you will sit somewhere and talk about, and wait, wait, wait. Me, I come from a chieftaincy background. There are some things I've seen with my eyes. Some of you, you come from some religious background. Now, go Roma, you were a marriage server. Then you are walking around. But you see, where we come from here, eh? <laughs> You, 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 you see, until you pray certain prayers, you can't break through. No. Even the matrimonial home you are sitting in, eh, certain polygamy spirit is fighting the marriage. And you take yourself. Eh, man of my cousin was saying, Prof, Nana, people say, me jam here. And I'm so ahead there. I was on your shape, I'm saying, me jam. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I say, oh, we are not catching up. I say, me jam, so I'm a bread. 
it's not funny. You. See, I mean, he believed that when you stop the woman, you suffer. But something is pushing him. I begin to explain to him that it's a polygamy spirit in your background. It is in your background. It's a spirit you have to deal with. Amen. That's what it is. There are men living with their wife. They just want to leave their wife. For no reason. For no reason. They are dealing with ancient gate. Today, lift up your voice in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Let, the Let the gate of my life, of my life and, city and city be open, be open to the king of glory. The king of glory. It means that it's another thing. If the king of glory wants to enter Ghana, we can question the king of glory and say, who is this king of glory? Yeah. Yeah. There are countries, they suck good things from entering the country. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is why a country must not sell their airport. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. This is not something you play politics with. The airport is a gate. Yes. How can Americans sell their airport? Yes. Can you imagine like America has sold their New York airport to Iran? Yes. Think about it. Yes. The harbor and the airport are the places that you can. You cannot play games with. The citizens must decide who come in and who enter. Yes, yes, Amen. There is a case you are dealing with of a Chinese woman who is the head of a galamse or something. He has come from his country. Now, experts are saying that the land they've destroyed with galamse, it will take 100 years to get it back. 100 years. It means that we have destroyed the revenues of 100 years generation. That is what I read it today about experts. He has left his land in, Ga in China intact. He has come here and is destroying our land. What are you talking about? May the Lord give us leaders whose eyes are open Amen. and they have generational thinking. Amen. So far, let's pray. Sure. Bumpai, the way I show my that pray. Amen. Financial door can be open. Amen. People have gotten visas. They have got opportunities to travel and further their course. They go to embassy. They won't give them the visa. They will not give them. It is that the gate is closed. Today, in the name of Jesus, say, let the gates of my life. I'm talking about the gate of your life. Financial gate, marital gate, success of children, building. Hey, you will feel me out from out to me, see that. Who started and so you? There are house you come from. If you are not, you don't pray violent prayer, you won't travel. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. One day I was in London at the immigration. There was a, a man. They said, sit here. Papa, it was a rade. If you brought it better, excuse me, Mayrem, what are you saying? Or the Mayrem, sir, they want to be on Casa Umbusabios, men, Omobo, Omopo, Omopo, Omopo. The Bruni said, follow me. He stamped his password and gave it to his. Today you will enter that gate. The gate of your marriage. The gate of your breakthrough. Lift up your head, all ye gates. Be lifted up your until every ancient door that has stopped your progress, that has brought you to the place of stagnation. I shall lift up your voice in prayer. Say pray. Lift up your voice. Open your mouth right now. Marco Dabaya. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Let the gates. Let the gate of my life. Let the gate of my life. Let the gate of my family. Let the gate of my city. Let the gate. Let it be lifted now. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Marco Dabaya. Rasa Sasa Sasa. Maya Dabaya. Rakadini Mea Tosaya. Mandelebea. The gate to your documentation, the gate to your permanent stay. I say, let it be open. Let the gate of your womb be open. Payadabaya, Payadabaya, Rakazadabaya, Nandalabaya, Lakazodebaya, Rekazadabaya, Payadabaya. Ha, ha, Rakazadabaya, Rakazadabaya, Apaya, Apaya, Apandolo Bocatoya, Rekazodebaya, Apaya Dabaya, Randalabaya. Please share the message right now. Share it and connect somebody. Help somebody. Help somebody. Connect somebody. Let it bless somebody. Share it to bless somebody. 
Say so that somebody can pray. People are suffering. Somebody has gone through too much struggle. Marco Zadabaya. Raka Zedebea. Maye. Roka Zadabaya. Raka Dabaya. Raka Dabaya. Mayanda Labaya. Raka Zadabaya. Rapandele Bekaba. Randa Labakaba. Randa Labaya. Randa Labakaba. Rapanda Labakaba. Ra. Mention the gate. Type the gate that must be open. Type the gate in your life. Marital gate. Mention. Don't be afraid. Don't be sad. Mention the gate. My ministry gate open. My marital gate open. My wedding gate lift up. Lift up your head, O oh, E gate. Lift up your head, O oh, E gate. Financial gate, lift up your head. Makadabaya. Randalabaya. Apaya. Mokadabaya. Razadabaya. Makadabaya. Share the message right now. Share the message. Share it to your link right now. Rakazodebea. Rapandelebekaba. Rakazadabaya. Randalabakaba. Rapandalabakaba. Rakazadabaya. Randalabaya. Rakazadabaya. Randalabaya. Rukadabaya. Randalabakaba. Rabam. Lazadabaya. Rakadoya. Rapandelebekaba. Jomakataya. Rapandelebea. Rakazadabaya. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Lift up your head. Oh, ye gate. The king of glory. The king of glory. Let the gate of my life. Let the gate of my family. Let the gate of my father's house. Let the gate of my mother's house. Let the gate of my city be open for the king of glory. Let the gate be open for the king of glory. Hey. Mazodabaya. Rakazodabaya. Makadabaya. Randalabakaba. Rakazodabaya. Rapandelebekaba. Zubradabaya. Makadabaya. Rapandelebekaba. Rosatuya. Makadabaya. Rosadabaya. Randalabakaba. Zubrandalabakaba. Rapandalabakaba. Rakadabaya. Randalabakaba. Zubrandalabakaba. Parabam. Randalabakaba. Randalabakaba. Zubrandalabakaba. Rekazadabaya. Rakadabaya. Moshadebaya. Rapandelebekaba. Somebody's door is being opened right now. Lift up your voice. Please say, 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 say. God bless you for sharing. Share so that I can be a blessing to another person. Share it to bless another person. Share it so that somebody can also pray. Rakazodabaya. Rapandelebekaba. Lokazinemeya. Makodabaya. Rekazodabaya. Tosaya. Rapandelebekaba. Rakazadabaya. Rambayata. Mayatakaya. Lendalabaya. Rakazodabaya. Mayadabaya. Somebody say, lift up your head. Somebody say, lift up your head. Somebody say, lift up your head. Say, let the gate of my life, let the gate of my father's house, let the gate of my mother's house, let the gate of my city, let the gate of my community, let the gate of my finances be open for the king of glory. Let it be open for the king of glory. Lift your voice and declare that those gates will be open. That the king of glory will enter into your house. Once the king of glory enter, the Lord mighty and strong in battle, he will fight for you. Moshe Dabaya, say it, say it, say it. Rakadabaya, God bless you for sharing. Connect another person online. Say it right now. Share the message. Share it to your link. Share it to your Facebook. Share it. Share it. Masodabaya. Randalaba. Anybody sharing, the Lord bless you. That through you, another person is praying. Makodabaya. Rakazadabaya. Makodebeya. Leia. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout the tendrils I mean three times. Amen. 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 I declare that every closed door is open. Amen. I say every closed door is open. Let us say, open unto me the gate of righteousness that I may enter. That is what David said. Psalm 118 verse number 19. That is a gate of righteousness. Hallelujah. Open unto me the gate of righteousness. And the Bohono. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. Amen. When the gate of righteousness is not open, your praises are short-secured. Somebody say, 
Strengthen the bars, Strengthen the bars of, my of my gate. Now hear this. It's one thing for you to be blessed. It's another thing to protect the blessing. I told you. Any house with walls, uh, it shows what is inside. There were so much booties and properties and prosperity in Jericho that God took Jericho as his first fruit. Uh, that is why nobody must take anything in Jericho. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The fact that that city was war show what is inside. There is a blessing God has given to you. Eh? Today, the bars of iron must strengthen your Amen. blessing. That means that even women under the sound of my voice, when they get pregnant, eh, God must put them in the bars of iron Amen. and strengthen them. Because most of the attack on childbirth is a demonic thing. Yes. Somebody having miscarriages and everything and blood clot and this and that and that. They are all demonic. Somebody say, bars of iron. Say, Lord, Lord, strengthen the bars of my iron. Psalm 147 verse 13. Watch this. Psalm 147 verse 13. Mark Odaba. For he has strengthened the bars of thy gates. And has blessed thy children within, has blessed thy children within thee. So if the gates are not strengthened, the children are vulnerable. They are exposed. He has strengthened the bars of thy gate. All gates are not the same. This particular gate, the bars are strengthened. This is the last time you have miscarriage in your life. This pregnancy, you will carry it to nine months. Any ancient door that come after you, may the Lord kill them before they attack. We pray a sabotage prayer on your enemies. The Lord meet them halfway. Amen. Say, Lord, Lord, break the gate of brass gate and of cut brass. asunder the bars of iron. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 2. The gate of brass and the bars of iron. I will go before thee. Who is taking this one? Who is taking this one personally? Say, as the Lord, I will go before thee. And make the crooked straight, and make the crooked place straight. Amen. And when I go, I will break in pieces the gate of brass. Jesus. That means that there is a place you must enter. But the enemy has put the gate of brass. God said, I will break it in pieces. And cut asunder the bars of iron. That means that there is somebody whose access is blocked. God said today, I will go before thee. Today, take God according to his word. Take him by his word. And I be demonim, demonim. Demonim kind of name call. Embassy have me call one call. Home office have me call one call. Contract have me call negotiate one call. And radio have me call one call. Demonim kind. And make the crooked straight path. Make the crooked place straight. I radi. A kwana church I don't know. I don't know kwana who knew that. Ufaha na tuana duwa befa. Bible say you made the crooked straight, crooked path straight. Amen. Sure. A man of God told me something. He said, Father, he said, it's another. He said, Nana. Now I have been married for about 34 years. I could have been married for 44 years. Chelsea, my wife, he delayed me for 10 years. I thank God mommy didn't delay me. As of which means that his marriage has been short circuit for 10 years. So. The same about an award in about 10 years, my premium pre, they were the gate of brass. Gate of brass. Into Thomas and Mamon Warren, sometimes there is a gate of brass. Zika Tukaya. Reke Zedebe. Can you break us up? Bibi and Yas or Ba or Dow, no how. Or Dow, Ba or how. Or Tetu, who could do in China, no, I know style be who copper no affair. Ten years. What is that? I don't cry on love and dieties. Any love and dieties you are going through, we command it to be broken. People are suffering. People are going through stuff. I will go before thee. Lift up and say, Father, Father go, before me. go before me. Go before me. It means the first time you went alone. But this time God said, allow me to go before you. God cannot lead anybody for the person to fail. 
And when I go, I will make the crooked place straight. And I will break in pieces the gate of brass. And cut in ascender the bars of iron. Makota Pakasaya. Say, break the gate of brass. Cut in ascender the bars of iron. Open before me the gate that I may go in and receive the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of the secret place. Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3. That says the Lord. Now nah, he's not only going before you, he's not speaking. When he go before me, what is he going to do? That says the Lord of hosts. That says the Lord to his anointed. To Cyrus, whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him. I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates, the two leaf gate, and the gates shall not be shut. From today, anything God open, it cannot be shut. Your financial gate will not be shut. Your prosperity gate will not be shut. Your breakthrough gate will not be shut. Your marital gate will not be shut. Any gate that we are shut, let it be open. Ephata. This is the word of the Lord. I said you don't believe the scriptures. We can, I'm telling you something, there's a fire burning. Yes. This altar is already on fire. Stay online and pray. Your destiny will change on this altar. Stay online and pray. Your destiny will change on this altar. That says a lot to his anointed. Put your name there and I say, Whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him. And I will lose the loins of kings to open before him. Two leaf gates. Look at the two leaf gates. Two leaf gates. Two leaf gates. And the gates shall not be shut. Come in, family. I will go before you and make the crooked place straight. I will break in pieces the gate of blast and cut in ascender the, the bars of iron. Family. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. The hidden riches of the secret place that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by thy name, I am the God of Israel. I am the God of Porter City. Open your mouth and stand on this scripture. Lord, go before me. Your gate shall not be shut. My gate will not be shut. Open your mouth. Say, open before me the gate that I may go in and receive the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches. Say, my gate will not be shut. Open your mouth and pray. Makazuda baya, rakazada baya, rapandele bekaba. Share the message right now. Say, 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 rakazada baya, makadaya, rakada baya, rapandele bekaba, jubrandele baya, randa lava kaba, rapandele bekaba, rakazada baya, rapaya, makada baya, makada baya, makada baya. Makadabaya, Rakazadabaya, Lazadabaya, Lekadabaya, Maya, Maya, Maya. Put it there, verse 1. I will open it and it will not be shut. Makadabaya, and thy gate shall not be shut. Your marital gate will not be shut. Your academic gate will not be shut. That says the Lord to his anointed. Do you declare that you are God's anointed? Today, may today be your spiritual birthday. Something is happening. Moshadabaya, Randelebeya, Lakadabaya. Facebook, you are not sharing. Please share the message right now. Connect another person to come online. Rakazodebeya, Mandelebeya, Rakazadabaya, Rakadaya, Makaya, Lakadabaya, Matoya, Rapandalabaya. Musa Dubaya, Rapandele Bekaba, Jumastiki Bipo, Rapandele Bekaba, Rakazadabaya, Randele Bea, Mokadabaya, Randele Bea, Lakazude Bea Tosaya, Rapandele Bekaba, Haya, Lord, open before me the gate. 
Open before me the gate. Open before me the gate. Open before me the gate. I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gate, and the gates shall not be shut. Open before me the gate. I may go in and receive the treasures of darkness, the hidden riches of the secret place. Today, your portion shall be the hidden riches of the secret place. Lift up your voice and pray. You have suffered in Canada too much. You have suffered in UK too much. You have suffered in Ghana too much. You have suffered in Nigeria. You have suffered in Africa. I am speaking to somebody from Kenya. I am speaking to that person from Madagascar. I am speaking to that person. Hey, Yakadabaya, from the United States of America. That lady in North Carolina. That lady listening to me in the name of Jesus Christ. Makadabaya, Rakadaba, from Chicago. I see a family watching me from Chicago. You are watching me from the YouTube. You go to the Church of Pentecost. That says the Lord. I break the gate of iron. You and your children. It shall be well with you. In the United States of America. The Lord will open the door. And it will not be shut again. Declare the door to be open. Your wedding is coming on. Rakazadabaya. Mandalabakaba. Rakadabaya. Your promotion gate, let it be open. Your husband, your marital gate, let it be open. Your traveling documentation gate, let it be open. Your contract gate, your kadabaya, rabandelebekaba, jobrandalabaya, lakasodebeya, rakadabaya, yaye, rakasodebeya, mandelebeya. Get aggressive for the next five minutes and pray. Makadabaya, hayadabaya. Keye Rosa Zuya Mandele Bekatuya Rakadabaya Maya Dabaya In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Say open before me The gate that I may go in And receive the treasures of darkness And the hidden riches Of the secret place Also there is something called the hidden riches of the secret place Everybody lift up your hand and say I rebuke every enemy At the gate Psalm 127 and verse number 5. There are enemies standing in front of your gate. No. There is a family watching me. Happy is the man that has the quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. They shall speak with the enemies in the gate. So today, there are enemies standing at your gate. Get it. Get it. If I can get the body of Christ to believe that what is happening to you, there is another version in the spirit. And you have to win it in the spirit. And it automatically manifests in the natural. You don't get victory in the natural. You get it in the spirit first. Because every good and every perfect get cometh from above. Win it in the spirit. Win your husband's love in the spirit. Win your wife's affection in the spirit. Because the way we are hearing down, there is a remote control. My brother, my brother, there is a remote control. Bibi, Obi, pressy, Bibi. Or pressy. And to hear person, kiss you, no, be a pressy, stop. But so no, I chin it, I chin it, you call. They are stop or then. They are stop or no. Makada basata. Today, anybody holding spiritual remote control, regretting and controlling your life, may fire consume that remote control. I say fire. I say fire. 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 70 days of God's power. Yes, starting from Monday. Yes, Tomorrow. Yes. If, if you are sick, <laughs> let them bring you to all night. Yes, the recognition anointing. Yes, the anointing that makes people notice you. Yes. Tomorrow God will put a label on your head. Yes, and that label is called uncommon favor and prosperity. Yes. Recognizing anointing. Yes. Tomorrow come to honor with your head prepared. Don't wear wig, be a offense and I'll be brand and wait. And I shall we go with my muscle? Let all you good. The recognition anointing. The recognition anointing. Now, listen. I told you that there is one among you whose latch of shoes I'm not ready to unloose. I'm among you, but nobody knows him. Jesus, John the Baptist says, somebody is among you, but nobody knows him. The recognition anointing came at the baptism. Ah. Do you know from Genesis to all the way to Jesus Christ, God has never called anybody his son. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
God has never called. That is why he's the firstborn of the, be, of the begotten. The first person God called my son is Christ. Mm. Before we are privileged for God to call our sons. Abraham was a friend. But that man was walking around, even Jesus. They are lost, right? Okay? There is something we call protocol for blessing. Mm. Protocol for spiritual blessing. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Yes, yes. A proto there are protocols in the spirit. Even Jesus Christ, you couldn't just jump. He was born by a man, a woman. He grew up. John the Baptist said, there is one among you. It's not that he's going to be born, but nobody knows him. So when he appears, he says, is that not a carpenter? Mm. They know him to be a carpenter, more than a carpenter. More than, mm. more than a carpenter. So, so for, there is a realm you must enter. Ah. But until the recognition anointing ah. comes, ah. the contract will be there, but your own will not be selected. Mm. Wow. Kaduma Satakaya. Tomorrow be at the all night. Yes, sir. Come, don't play games. Come, we are preparing for the future. Yes. We are not talking about, we are preparing for the future. Yes, Hallelujah. Amen. There is an anointing, eh? And every name Adam called, that is what it is called. Mm. I am God's mouthpiece. I, am God's mouthpiece. Yes. I carry a prophetic yes. grace. Yes. So God speaks through me. Yes. Yes. When you believe it is happening, yes. yes. God said, believe the prophet, receive the prophet. Yes. Now, the Lord God will do nothing. Uh -huh. Jesus said, huh, when you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, uh -huh. So you have to receive, recognize. The tsunami to man say, I perceive this is a prophet. Yes. I, I, I have a perception. He told the husband, the husband is carnal, but the woman is spiritual. Yes. Thank God for spiritual women. Amen. There is nothing like a woman that is spiritual. Amen. 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 So he said, I perceive. I perceive. He, he, he downloaded the thing. He sensed it. Are you getting the point now? Now, so he said this. So there is a, an, there is a grace to receive a prophet. You, you know him as a prophet. Yes, sir. Now, he said, I have commanded the widow to sustain you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, Hallelujah. Yeah. Is it the widow sustaining the prophet or the prophet sustaining the widow? Yeah. Well, they will talk about it. Because the, the prophet, when he was in the brook, Ravens was giving him food. So God was rather sustaining the widow. Yeah. Huh? But the widow must give something to get something. Yeah. So everybody was hungry, but there was a cake party in his house. Yeah. Because you recognize a prophet. She recognized the prophet. And I'm saying, I'm speaking as God's must peace. Yes, After tomorrow's all night, people will be recognized. Amen. Some people will have a sense that when they go to a place, it will be hardly for them to say no to them. Because the recognition anointing, it comes to the place. When you get somewhere, I've gone to immigration. Eh? Some people, one day I was in immigration, the man said, you look very familiar. You look very, he opened my pastor because I don't have my touch. He said, what do you do? I say, I bless people. I left it there. I bless people. I bless people. What I'm doing, am I not blessing people? I'm blessing people. All my life, God has used me to be a blessing. Now, Ghana and Akrofon can but there are people God has used us to be a blessing to them. Yeah, hallelujah. Amen. Uh huh. Amen. Say, I rebuke, I rebuke every enemy, every enemy at, the at the gate. Psalm 127, verse 5. Girl, are you okay? Psalm 127, verse 5. Psalm 127, verse 5. I can't know we are there, and I know you can't. Uh, happy is the man that has the quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak to the enemies at the gate. Today, may your enemies hear your voice at the gate. Amen. Say, let all gate let all of, my life of my life and city, and city. Be repaired, be repaired through the power of the Holy Spirit. The of the Holy Spirit. Do you know Jeremiah? After the Hema built the wall, he said, We have to make sure that we repair the gate. So there are gate that must be repaired. Amen. Amen. Every Sambalat and Tobias. Kanima hey! Kotaya. That is preventing you from building your gate. And mocking at you. They were about to envy you very soon. The Hema said in the Hema chapter 2 verse 13, he spoke about the valley gate. He said the valley gate must be repaired. Even Amram Dekra, and I went out by night by the gate of the valley, even before the dragon were, and to the dank port, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which were broken down, and the, and the gate thereof were consumed with fire. So when the enemy broke the word down, the gate, he consumed it with fire.
There is a reason the devil consumed the gate with fire. Just in case even you build the wall, the gate must not be fixed. These are mysteries that we are going to go into details. This is part one. We are just scratched the surface. The Lord told me, don't leave it hanky. This one, go to the depth. Go to the depth of it. I say, gate is for arrival and departure. Or you are working around the airport. There is a signboard many years ago when I used to go to who? When I get to who? John said, because welcome to who? It point people to who, but you never get there. May you never point people to a place that you will never get to. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, let the gate of the fountain that represents the flow of the Spirit. The gate of the fountain represents the flow of the Spirit. Say, let it be repaired. So when you go to verse number 14, he didn't only speak. There were different types of gates. And I will show you on, on uh, tomorrow or Saturday. Now watch it. Tomorrow is a recognition anointing. Different kinds of gates. We just spoke about the valley gate. Look at the second gate. Then I went on to the gate of the fountain. Uh, and to the king's pool. Uh, and there was no place for the beast. That was under me to pass. So there was a valley gate. There was a fountain gate. The fountain gate was the flow of the spirit. The valley gate is a strategic place for, for, for strategic battles. So sometimes, eh, when your enemies are coming, when you check war, war, uh, war films, movies, eh, sometimes they dig a bunker and they stay inside. So that every bullet will pass on top of them. So there's a reason for the valley gate. There's a reason for the fountain gate. Are you getting what I'm talking about? Then as a house, eh, there is a main gate that comes from the front. Cars enter. But there's another small gate at the back. That place, a car cannot enter. But human gate access there. Are you getting the point now? All the doors are different. There are some things in when you are bringing it to your house, they can pass through the main gate that open too. But the back door, the things cannot enter there. So woe unto you when your blessings are bigger than your gate. Hey. So for how can God give you a car that cannot enter your house? We will deal with that another time. No hey. <laughs> Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. I, declare, I declare. Let the gates gate of the fountain of the be repaired right now. Repaired. Let the sheep gates sheep gate. that represent the apostolic. Wow. The sheep gate. The Hema chapter 3 verse 1. Oh. There is a, I've told you about the fountain gate. I've told you about the valley gate. This one is what is called what? Huh? And a leadership, the high priest rose up and his brethren and the priests and they built the sheep gate and they sanctified it and set up the doors of it. Even unto the tower of Meir, they sanctified it unto the tower of Hananel. When it comes to the sheep gate, which is the gate, what I call the apostolic gate. The sheep gate. Every sheep must have a shepherd. Wow. It's another level. That's what we call the apostolic gate. Hallelujah. There is another gate called the old gate. Okay. Another gate in that place called the old gate. Give me verse 6. Give me verse 6. Somebody say the old gate. Yeah, okay. huh? Now before even the old gate, let's check the fish gate first. Okay. Because there's a fish gate in verse number 3. All these gates in Jerusalem has names. Oh. Huh? But the fish gate, the, the sons of... has. Uh, Hasena built, who also laid the beams therefore, and set up the doors therefore, and locks therefore, and the bars therefore. Everybody say fish gate. Fish Everybody gate. say the fish gate. Fish it gate. represents the evangelism gate. Wow. Wow. Okay. The evangelistic gate. From today, you will not catch fish, but you will catch men. Yes. I will make you fishes of men. So the fish gate, and when you pass there, uh, the next the next prayer meeting, I will show you the meaning. Now go to the verse number six. Verse number six talk about the old gate. Huh? Now, now I will show you the old gate. Moreover, the old gate repair Johan him, the son. The old gate represents a move of the past. It means that they prospered, they used to be millionaires. Mm. Wow. Wow. Have you heard that? Oh, Papa we know Skapao. Yeah. Papa we know Skapao. The gate has been shut. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah to Jesus. Amen. Lift up your hands. 
in the name of Jesus. Today, I want you to sow a seed that will open every gate that the enemy has shut. This is what I call the lifting of the ancient gate. Now, listen. Name something that has delayed in your life and sow a seed towards it. Give an offering. Give your, your offering today an assignment. Already, every gate that has stand in front of my marriage. Mommy, person I won't fair. Won't fair. Oba, who did I want answer? A rich man is coming. Who's wrong, Yame? I saw for your mommy or I sorry, they are very good marriage material, and nobody is marrying them. I just who just for being so rampant, somebody who just married. Life will not give you what you think you deserve. Yes, I have, as I pastor a church, I've seen some girls. They tell me the story of the life they were living before they become born again. They come to church three months, they marry. May we not pray. It is dangerous for us to pray without revelation. It is proper diagnosis that leads to proper prescription. Today, this prayer we are praying. It's a diagnosis. We have diagnosed something. Somebody's gate. The reason is documentation in actually say you have put him in a confinement. Today the God, the gate is broken. Amen. The gate is lifted. So seed. It. it is connected to the prophetic anointing. The widow of Zanafat said, Go and do for me first. He said, I have the last meal to eat, and I said, Do for me first. Anytime the prophetic anointing is connected. It has, yeah, there were three times they referred to Jesus as a prophet. One of them, he fed people. When he multiplied loaves of bread, they say, we have never seen a prophet like this. The Shunammite woman said, let us invite him to eat. He took the giving to her and said, let us build a chamber for him. So when you connect your seed to the prophetic anointing, it opens up to heaven. Amen. When they were looking for the, Saul and his servant were looking for the axes. They say, there's a prophet here. He said, but we don't have anything. Because those days, they don't come to the prophet with an empty hand. Thou shalt not appear before the prophet with an empty hand. I am not the one saying that is the principle God has put in the Bible. Those who are smart and practicing, it is working. Amen. I have a man. If, if he comes around and he sees me somewhere and he's greeting me at the airport, he will still take an influence and say, Papa, I will never meet you. I wish every day I will meet him. Because everywhere I meet him, he said he doesn't want to see me because of the evidence of what he has seen me God do. She will find something and put it in the drop in my feet and go. He said, thou shalt not come. When, when they call me and they say, that man is visiting me. There are people when they are visiting you and you are praying, you just continue. You say, Olivia is coming. You just continue to pretend you are praying. You just continue praying and praying and praying. Say, let, let, tell him to wait. Hallelujah. There are people when they say, this person is coming. May those people start visiting your house. The recognition of the Encrophobia is so much about fear. We are not so much bad. And I can tell you, I say, Father, thank you for the, thank you for answer to the prayer. We are so grateful. It, it is a realm you cut prayer premature. Answer to prayer. The prayers are answered. What are you waiting for? Look at somebody say, don't waste my time. I mean, mm -hmm. the Encrophobia is so much about the prayer. But I don't want to do that. And unyans will appear for you to start a car about your whole whole or no have any bump and no are sorry no go. Because what are you coming to do? Just coming to waste my time. What is that? Today may God bring strategic people to visit you. May you meet strategic people. Amen. One day I met Prophet Brian in the play. I was going to we we. All things were together for good. So uh, where the class I was, I was going to read. Some people were there. So I, the, the man said, oh, excuse me, they're the back here. Another. When I enter, then they saw me. Me, I didn't see him. So I was there. He came and I said, oh, Papa, you are in a play. We didn't know. And they kneeled down. And then they dropped some envelopes. Nice. And I pray. And the air hostess came and said, who are you? I said, I am who you know. I am. When I open the envelope, I say, thank God for we we. Yes. Yes. May the Lord orchestrate some things yes. around your life. Yes. 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 Yes.
No, you should just sorry to open something. He was working with another man of God. He said, Papa, Miko Priti, Nyami a blessing with Nyami Sabe in Fama. The one I was so supposed to go there, a white lady was with me. Another one was standing with me. I was the third. The hair hostess said, Excuse me, let's, there's one at the back if you don't mind. I said, No, are you No, Nyami Mo will be who me. Me, the one I'm so my Oh, daddy, we didn't know you were here. After mentioning his name, I said, Prophet Brian, you can go and ask him. And he came there. Hallelujah. <laughs> Prophet Blam, if you are listening to me, next time I'm sitting in a play, may I meet you again? <laughs> it's a fact. Amen. If you know, if you know Prophet Brian, call him and say, I've mentioned his name for the whole world to hear. Are you getting what I'm talking about? When the gates are open, you meet strategic people. Amen. You meet people. Amen. The angel that went to the prison, all he does to open the door for, uh, for uh, do you know something, right? The presence of God, which carries the glory. Let's say that I told you that. The glory is an intensified presence. So the presence of an angel open an iron gate automatically. So angelic presence is a master key. Hey! When you carry the presence, when you get to some door, it's just open. Amen. That thing, Uncommon favors. Sow a seed. We document this here. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus prayed the same prayer three times. The prayer of petition, you can pray it more than one. Because you are petitioning God. If it's possible, remove this car from me. She went back up and prayed the same prayer. Went back up and prayed the same prayer. So if you have to pray this prayer three times, for that gate iron to be lifted, that, that iron door must be lifted. Amen. Lift up your head, so you get. I bless your seed. Give it. Now, if you are listening to me on the radio, 0544 739 or 0556-90287 or 0244-710083. Choose one of them. And if you are in Facebook and YouTube, God richly bless you. Just sow your seed. 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 And I bless everyone that is sowing the seed. I declare that every closed door in front of you is open. As of this is just part one. Yes, sir. This one is possible we do about three parts. Yes, Yesterday we forgot something. We didn't take the seven communion. We were fear. Anybody who has communion in your hand. So today people they didn't bring it. When I went to, me, I went to the home house. I took my own. But you took your own too. Those who didn't discern it. It's their own problem. But after the service, you can go and take your seven communion. Mm -hmm. You just take the communion seven times and then you take it. Lord, I bless every bloody bread and wine. And I declare that it for an end of a cycle. I bless your seed in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Quickly, do you have something? Um, I want to so your seed. Sow it. Sow it. Sow it. 544 So it. Choose one of the numbers and sow your seed. Blessed be the name zero five nine three seven four five eight seven four zero five nine three seven four five eight seven four zero five five eight six nine zero two eight seven. Choose one of the numbers and so you see. Let's go Amen. ahead. Uh, prayer request. This one says, um, my name is Mame Abena Ose. Please, Papa, pray for my cousin. His name is Clinton Kofi Nemako. Mm. I don't know what has come over him all of a sudden. He even raised an axe to kill my granny today. She's grandmother today. Yes. He wants to go to life in prison. Father, we Something rebuke the spirit of him. murder Jesus. that has come over the guy. Set the family free. Now listen yeah. to me. Tomorrow, eh, make your way to Portis. Come to all night. Come and receive the recognition anointing. You are finished university, but you don't have a job. Mm. Tomorrow, anybody who is struggling to get a job, tell them to come to all night. Amen. Tomorrow, anybody that want to marry, there is going to be different camps during the seventh day. One of them could be a camp for singles. May release you into a matrimonial home. Amen. We carry you in a spiritual matrimonial home. It's just a camp for singles. I want to teach them some strategies. Hallelujah. The combination of spices to keep your husband at home. Hey. Oh. Hey. Olivia wants to hear those things. Spices. Spices. And only a tell Esther, no? 
Esther was trained for six months for one night with the king. God put it in the Bible. Share. Bruno Sam Fanya Men Yagro. Uko Victoria Secret. There are perfume perfume be Very sexy. Very sexy. Manuplo as of a less recast as ever. Hey. Very soon, or the nation service will come on. You will let me put another. But it's the truth. Whatever it is, Esther was trained. Now, now you see, this generation is not God does not change, man does not change. The relationship between God and man changes. When the time changes and you don't change, you are in trouble. It's not the time to walk around and taking men for granted, though. Because there is another woman who is interested in your husband. A Nigerian marriage preacher, a lady said that some of you were. I heard this message. Somebody sent it to me. He said he has written a book. And the book, the title is that number one. It has four chapters. Dear God. Number two, dear me. Number three, dear, my dear husband. Number four, my dear congregation member. And he said that is his favorite chapter. The one he said that my dear congregation. I want you to know that I am the pastor's wife. There is no also for my maybe obey your message and you will not be happy. And he says, he says, some of you, you will pay, you will give everything to sleep with the men that we have married to. You don't like our dress. You create, and some of the things he says is true. As of mommy, bro. No. They judge them, judge their children. Woman, yes, so cast off for myself. And the woman said it. He said he has made his mind that you will listen to, you will watch him on television. If you don't watch on television, you listen to him on radio. If you don't listen to him on radio, you read his book. If you don't read his book, he will smell his perfume yeah. when he's preaching. When it comes to perfume, I say perfume, 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 perfume. It's important. Spices. Olivia, there is a perfume for sleeping. Hey. The way Olivia says, he doesn't know. <laughs> Your perfume, you are what they die. It, it, it zooms the presence of God in your home. In your room, that create an atmosphere mm. for supernatural <laughs> romantic moves. The Bible said the children of this world in their eyes are wiser than the children of the gospel. Yeah. I'm telling you, don't try to be right? there. Are people who are spiritual praying on every altar, but their home is breaking. Hmm. Sure. There, is, there is something that is greater than the truth. Hmm? And that thing is called the whole truth. Hmm. It's one thing to know the truth. It's another thing to know. It's called the total cancel of God. So some people know the truth, but they don't know the whole truth. You are prayerful, but you don't know how to manage your home. And that thing that you have left will let your prayer topics increase. Because yeah. your husband will start going out and then that one become a, it will add to your more prayer point. Not all men has faith. You cannot compare your husband to another. You cannot compare your husband to Pastor Les. You cannot compare your husband to Pastor Asia. You cannot compare your husband to men who understand the things of God they are praying. It's not every man that is walking in the grace and the faith I'm walking in. There are things I can resist. Another man can't. And if he can't, we protect. Yeah. So it's not every woman that lose yourself and just ignore your husband. There are women who can ignore their husband. The men know God to the extent that whatever situation their wife put them in, they will manage. There are women who can manage situations. Now, there are some they can't. There are women that accidentally their husband commit adultery. It will be quiet. Nobody will hear about it. There are some they will tell everybody in the world. I mean, I mean, I mean, they will tell everybody and escalate it until the devil take it and it get into the spirit. So not to honor man say, protect it. Don't just pray. Pray and think. Mm. That's it. That's it. Pray and think. Thank you, sir. By the way, sow your seed. And make sure that you are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything, 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 anything. A testimony from New Zealand. 
Wow. My six-year-old daughter suddenly fell sick. Mm. And for two days, she was vomiting and running like never before. Mm. I realized my daughter was really sick because she likes food a lot. Mm. And for her not to be eating means something was wrong. Wow. I said to myself, I'm not going to pray about this. Mm. I have fasted and prayed too much on the altar of Portis mm. for the devil to give me this nonsense. That's right. She went to sleep and I... And I anointed her with some of the combined ease, Goshen, and Breakers anointing oil. Hey, he combined all of them. <laughs> Goshen, Jehu, and all Eradi. <laughs> and covered her with my papa's autograph anointed prayer show mm. with the word peace. Mm. To the glory of God, the fever broke mm. and she was absolutely fantastic the next day to this to the extent that she was able to go to, for classes. Wow. Who say God no day? He day, he day Glory he day. be to God. He day. Who say God no day? Who say God no day? Glory be to God. You see, the thing is about releasing your faith. Also, for some people have the oil, but when anything comes, they don't apply it. They don't apply it. Acting on the word of God. That is what we gave you. You say the mantles and the day. Can you imagine this fasting? God said we should give people, they must wear the thing. The t shirt printed at the back. I'm telling you, today I was talking to some fathers and they said they want to come for the, for the fasting. Wow. Yeah, they want to come. But three fathers, solid one. Said, and I want to come. Even if I don't want to preach, I want to see them be part of the thing. Yeah, this fasting, a lot of people are going to fast with us. It's a global fasting. A lot of people. Some young pastors came to me and said, Papa, we hear that you're going to do camp, camp. We have to do one for pastors. So there is a particular camp we are going to do. It's only for those who are into ministry. Uh -huh. from, from somewhere Wednesday to Friday. And I'll bring people like Papa Isu and they to come and speak to us. We need the impartation of the old anointing to carry us. I told a pastor today, after you get a recognition anointing, you need establishing anointing. You need surviving anointing. You need finishing anointing. And you need lasting anointing. It's not everything you get that lasts. It must not be cut premature. But yes, will be a rising. K, 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 bam. You don't hear of them again. Musician B. Dr. Pabobo came. Then he died. What is that? I mean, do you know that there are some musicians in Ghana gospel, they were singing. Yeah. Apart from, thank God for daughters and those people, they've lasted. In their old age. But they've been rising one zombie, you don't hear of them again. Yeah. Hallelujah. You need anointing that causes you to last. The lasting anointing. May you receive that anointing. Amen. And the recognition anointing will come with certain anointings. It's going to be very powerful. Hallelujah. Tomorrow, exactly 10 we are starting the prayer and then we are crossing into the midnight with power amen those who come and those the body of christ is a lot everybody's playing their part also whatever it is we are doing today god told us he said never take this thing for granted because we, we don't even know the people we are reaching we don't know we shouldn't take it for granted yeah you shouldn't take it for granted. He has given to every man according to their special several ability. The Lord says anything you do consistently, it will generate a lot of power. Yeah. So we must do it. Uh, one day, you people are working, you meet people. See, 20 years from today, I work with people, eh, and most people are meet there. They refer a lot of testimonies to bathing power. And you prophesy over me at bathing power. And you pray for me at bathing power. So very soon, 10 years, 15 years from now, people will come. I used to come to Portes. Mm -hmm. I used to come there. Now we are getting men of God coming up in ministry. God is bringing them to a limelight. And most of them are talking to me about how they used to come here and fast and pray. And sometimes when my car passes, they walk through where my car has passed and say, I'm walking in the footsteps of this prophet. And by that act of faith, God has lifted them. Now listen to me. If you have to come, there are two major announcements. If you have to come for the fasting program, book your place. Especially if those who are coming for the last two weeks. For now, it looks like the place is almost full now. Yes. So book it. Hallelujah. If you are going to Israel, 
you have up to the end of this month up to the ending of this month we are not even getting a hotel in elat yeah they are still pushing so book it right now and they, but they will get it they will surely get it amen and make sure that those of you in america you pay your commitment because we have to send the names they've called me they say we have to bring the names so that they go through so if you have written your name, you have not made any commitment, we can't send your name. Hey, we sent some people's name some time ago. I sponsor people to go to Israel. When they were coming, some of them bought TV. I mean, I was holding prayer show. Think about it. So, you make a commitment and then we take you. Everything has gone out, even airlines. I don't know, it's true what I'm saying. You people would have, I mean, when I said. <laughs> Is the truth. So, if you are listening to me from the United States, United Kingdom, you want to, our Israel is another level. Yes, oh, yes. You, you will love it. It's, a, it's not a tour. It's a revival. It's a move of God. You, you come back and you know that, no, something has happened to me. I'm telling you. I pray for somebody who has married for 28 years. It's Israel that you conceive. It's carrying the child. Amen. So, write your name. I've taken pastors to Israel. They come back. Their ministry turned. I'm going to walk in the land where Jesus was. Now listen. Three days, half night at the Wailing Wall. Garden of Gesson. Strategic places to pray. Pay your commitment and then we will send your name. I've told the office, anybody who has not made any commitment, they shouldn't bring their name. And then we make sure that we'll get it. God richly bless you. I don't see you giving your offering. Please, I bless your seed and I declare that. Show a seed for any ancient. Some of you can look at your family and see the gate. Ancient gate of delays in marriage, alcoholism, ancient gate of today. I just told you something uh, that a pastor told me about somebody. This there's nothing wrong. Let me tell you, honey. The devil will not deceive you. There is nothing wrong with you. You are going to have a child. Amen. If I will say you have a child, you have children. Amen. But something must be broken. And the reason why the devil is fighting you is that your destiny is great. There is something about your destiny Satan cannot handle. So, do it. And please send us a testimony of what God is doing with your life. Send a testimony. Let's share your testimony. Don't sit on a testimony. Anything God has done for you through this prayer altar, send it. And God will richly bless you. And the Lord bless anybody who will take a step of faith and sow this seed for their breakthrough. I declare that, Father, you give them a testimony. Amen. Don't forget, tomorrow I'm going to meet you physically. You have been listening to me, but come to Portis and come and encounter. Lord, I am here for the recognition anointing. My business has been in obscurity. When you are coming, bring something as a point of contact. Your business uh, card, your business registration, your passport, photocopy something. I don't want all you to come and bring it. And when you bring it, we want to pray that let the recognition anointing come on that business Amen. so that God will announce it. Your ministry certificate, something, bring it. And let God, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his faith to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Tomorrow by this time, may we hear a testimony of what God has done in your life. Shalom, peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good night. staying and praying with us today let's connect same time here on Portus 98.7 of God bless you